Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing with our Father Republic 1.0 preview playthrough as the CIS. In the first episode, we assaulted space over Araidu, Centauris, and Liana. Uh, so we cleared those out, but we did have a failed attempt to invade Araidu on the ground because of A6s. But uh, we are going to continue on probably with uh, trying to take... Liana on ground. We have Sora Bulk over here. We have uh, some B2s. And I think that will be a good enough assault force, maybe. So we have some Hailfires in there. Not the best ground forces. Oh, we have Grievous as well, so. Now I'm less concerned. And I think we will leave. Uh, I don't, know. I don't know what planet will want to put Gunray on, but we won't have him there. All right, Sora, let's go. Got an A5. So for those watching on YouTube, I am recording this live on Twitch, so I am going to be uh, trying to respond to questions as they come up in chat. Alright, uh, let's get some hailfires. We'll get one of the fresh new field bases. Uh, I guess we'll get some staps so we can go and... Sora, do you know it? Ooh. So we do have slightly higher radii on the uh, on the healing because it was very hard to get things actually in, in position for that. Uh, let's bring in more B2s. So that should be a bit more helpful for people. One, one more missile salvo. Alright. The artillery is a problem. Can I send you over there? Can we please shoot the lad? Alright. We're here. I don't know if we'll have damage enough for this. At least that'll stop it from firing for a little bit. I might have to wait out for um, bombing runs on the artillery. Well, maybe... No, I think we can get through now. Don't go up that way. Get up there. We're about to get bombing runs, so if that happens and we can't see where the artillery is, or we can't take out the artillery if it's moved, then we'll just let it go. Alright, 
Cordy, will he ever make some videos covering some of the Thrawn's Revenge submods? Uh, I might. Possibly later in the year. Because right now there's just so much that I intend to make that I haven't had time for. Or doesn't really fit into the schedule yet, so... Uh... It's the kind of thing where I need time to actually play them and then make a video of it. I don't think I'd do a series in any of them. Uh, cause it's already hard enough fitting in the full series that I want to do with, uh, with the mods themselves. But I'd probably do like a bit of a kind of roundup video. Cause there are a ton of Thrawn's Revenge sub-mods, uh, on top of the official ones that we've put out. Because we've got the official uh, shield pen one, but then there's also, uh, well, we have some plans for some other official ones coming out eventually, but then there's also uh, several made by either fans of the mod or even some of our testers. So if you go in the workshop, you'll probably see a ton of them. Alright. Blow them up. We've lost a build pad. Bomber standing by. Bombardment available. Gold squadron. Some new particle effects there as well. Skywalker reporting. Alright, here we got the Senator's office. Time to die, Senators. Our first catch of the day. Yeah, Thrawn's Revenge uh, has been second most subscribed for a long time on the workshop, but Father Republic just got to fourth, uh, and now there's a bunch of TR and FOTR submods on the workshop, so it's a it's a good year to be TR. So there's plenty of stuff for people to look up if they want to try some variations on the mod. All right, we already got that. Pause pity. Need some more heavy vehicle construction over here, I think. Let's get a couple of those. And what are things looking like at Tithe? Bolstering support. Increase the techno unit support by five if we conquer Kashyyyk. Which I'd been planning on conquering Kashyyyk regardless. So. Enemy fleet. About to invade Typhera. Just add some stuff. Okay, that is more stuff than I want to fight against. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll fall back. I don't think we can beat this fleet, but... We can... Look at Yularen's bridge. Reinforcements on route. Reinforcements right away. on route. Alright, turn around now. <coughs> I kind of just want to see what we can blow up here. So we got Den Wessex, and you can also see uh, some nice little insignias here. 
on some of these heroes. So we've got some open circle fleet vendors. Yes, we do have Rel Harsel as a hero from Edge of the Empire. Specifically from a module that we did uh, as part of the first Edge of Despair campaign. <laughs> that is why he's there. <laughs> oh, well, I guess they knew they were dying. I wonder if we can kill Yularen. Yeah, the, uh, the Mark II uh, droidicas are the ones from Forces of Corruption, so it's the uh, ion cannons is the main thing. I don't know if he's going to get a chance to use his ability. Alright, we got to be... We gotta just go for the stuff that's flying at us. Ready for battle. Launching attack. Reinforcements on route. Alright, I'm just gonna retreat. I'm not actually getting anything that I wanted out of this. Oh, come on. That was... There we go. We got it. So, yeah. After this GC, uh, when I'm settled into my apartment, we're going to be doing a Republic one as well. There's been a lot of other stuff that's been done, and there will be even more stuff that's done by the time that's in. Uh, so we'll get even more preview goodness. Uh, and that one I'll probably do with actual patron units and stuff like usual. Complete. Not worth the losses there. Um, well, I guess we don't need this fleet down here anymore. Missile robot on the go. Tactical battle imminent. They are invading already. Ooh, they've got an A6, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Plo Koon, Ayla, some PDF troopers. Okay, we're going to get AV turrets, I think. And for here, I'm going to get AI turrets. Well, if we're over here. Alright, you guys get over there. Turret constructing. Oh shit, two A6s. The SSDs of ground. Especially common on cruel. running on over us. Alright, here's the first uh, Juggernaut dead. I think we can kill the other one. They're just waiting for a bombing run. We made it. Oh, are oh, they coming in? They're coming in. We've secured a build pad. Wow. We really killed that vehicle. Yay. 
Generally, uh, most planets will come with uh, a planetary shield so that you need to actually get to the shield thing, the power gen, to start using orbital bombardments and stuff. Which will make defending more possible, because right now it's very difficult to hold onto a planet if they decide they want to bomb you. And will require a bit more proactivity when taking planets. Uh, there will be a CIS skin for the AAT at some point. It's just not in at the moment. Alright, now that we're here... I want support or do I want military? I think I want... military. Here comes the bombers. Missed a lot of our ground units, so... I think this is the hero one? Yeah, this is Hurst Remote. More prominent during the Empire, but for a lot of the stuff we wanted to... Especially for the Order 65 and 66 branches. But we wanted to put in some heroes that were more recognizable from later eras. Kind of tie-ins for TR and possible other later mods. If I'd been able to kill the A5s, that would have been nice. Either stuff. I think we're just gonna get our blue body up. Gravity control generator destroyed. Poor Typhera. We did kill the A6s, awesome. so there's that. Uh well we've got them coming in. Then we'll have HMPs. So maybe I'll just drop one of you guys over here. We'll deal with them later. Maybe we'll try to use uh, Trench and Invincible for some stuff. Choose your reinforcements. All right, Trim. Coming about. Continue general defense. Target those lasers. Here's a quick thing. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Frequency Where are the rest of our bulwarks? I didn't think we lost them in that battle.
Okay. I'm gonna move them over there. Construction complete. Oh, we got two companies in with this. Complete. So even better. Alright. So, we invade there. Another thing that's happening with a lot of the ground maps is some of these darker uh, light maps are being adjusted or removed. Any of the ones that make it too hard to see. So I think we should be able to take on Jedi with that. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about Remote, but this could be a good uh, a good Jedi massacre for us. Okay, let's focus on Remote first. Because once that's done, the HMP should be able to actually do some work on these guys. The fact that they're getting the Typhara healing on top of uh, regular healing is difficult. But there goes Plo. Here goes Obi Wan. There's Obi Wan gone. Anakin is uh, no longer the chosen one. So good luck with that. And, uh, bye bye Ayla Sakura as well. So, Order 66, unnecessary. Remote with that shit eating grin on his face. All right, let's get ready for an assault on Fondor, which I don't know if we're going to be able to actually do it. But. Enemy fleet approaching. Brigade standing by. We can't attack our recusant dreadnought. Vehicle in production. Um, hmm. Well, if they don't want those planets, I do. So, Trench, get to Bandamir. You get to Mandalore. There will be actual Mandalorian forces on Mandalore in the future. Right now, it's just Dreadnoughts, but... There will be Mandalorians on the ground. I don't think we actually have a Mandalorian ground unit coded. That'll kind of be what it is. They're not a full military power, but they got some stuff. Dreadnought cruiser ready. Heavy cruiser standing by. All ahead. Oh, it goes on to you that are actually moving. Turbo 
lasers. Or action interceptors. So no. They're barely moving. My bad. There's one. There's two. There's three. I can't remember if Terrible did the interceptor model or the wild card first. Or like the action first. and Because one got modified into the other. And I, I mean like the asset, not uh, not the in-universe. Right, so one of the other things with the Dreadnought model is that uh, we've got two versions of it that are being added. So there's like the regular combat Dreadnought that you'd be familiar with, but then for like the carrier refits and stuff, uh, there's an actual visual difference to it now, which is cool. I'm curious. I I saw, I there we go. Rather than going all the way across the galaxy for that. All right, Dooku. Okay, they actually did go to Bandamere. Or they were always at Bandamere. Either way. Choose your reinforcement. Cannons armed. Focus your Alright, so we got the new Providence Dreadnought model to look at. And another Providence Dreadnought to look at. Supply ship. Reinforcements on route. So there's the regular one. And there's trenches. Uh, Mr. Puerto Rican did a trench texture uh, for Invincible, but I guess that is not in yet with the little eyes and stuff. Oh, this is independent forces. Okay, so we'll be taking Mandalore and Bandamere with uh, Dooku and those ground forces, getting ready to go into the core after that. Maybe I do want to secure the actual outer rim before we uh, before we siege. We do the reverse sieges. Uh, we haven't made any specific announcements on what is going to be an influence reward or not in Father Republic. Some of those would be choices for it, some will be worked into the factions in other ways. But again, that's all stuff that's going to get its own announcement later. Right. The sad part with independence is always that they can't retreat. Very upsetting for them. Okay, so I think that's actually going to do it for our second episode here. Uh, so for those watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. For those of you watching on Twitch, we're going to keep going for uh, four more episodes, but I'm going to save. We are going to take a minute between the episodes and hope to see you next time.